Et bien salut tout le monde, c'est XVSK et aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour la suite nos aventures sur Vampire Vampire, 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 oh Bonjour messieurs Oui, oh, il y a un niveau 7 quand même là et... ah Un coup d'épée Un Non, juste deux Oh là là, les animations sont top. Ne joue pas en ma faveur, personne. Mais punaise, pourquoi eux ils arrivent à bloquer, moi pas Sérieux Un ras le cul Tiens Tiens, ouf Merde Photographie d'un couple amoureux. Oh, attention Tu vois ça Et ici mmh. Oh, c'est bon le sang C'est bon pour la santé Vous savez Oh là là Le problème, c'est de trouver le bon moment où est-ce que je peux lui faire mon attaque, quoi. Ça, c'est le plus chiant. Faut vraiment attendre que les animations aient... soient vraiment en fin parce que si jamais on a le malheur d'attaquer trop tôt, ça peut vite se retourner contre nous malheureusement. Oh, je casse tout moi, je suis un thug. Bizarre ce, ce, cet arbre brille. Où est-ce que je suis là Je me balade mais je sais même pas où je suis. <rire> Bonjour, quelqu'un Bon c'est pas grave, on la map. Ah Aider Hein Attendez, j'ai pas compris là. Il me demande de retourner en arrière en fait Bon, oh, c'est moi qui me suis gouré. Ah, déjà, il y a un truc, il y a une histoire là. Interroger, machin. Je sais pas, je vois un Y et là je vois fabriquer un traitement pour la fatigue. Mais si je clique là-dessus, je crois qu'en fait il devait y avoir un établi de l'autre côté aussi pour pouvoir. Je enfin, sais pas. Je sais pas pourquoi il m'aurait. Mais. Je vais rêver. On peut monter là. What mmh. Oh tu sens. Give me some blood. Oui parce qu'en fait, parfois certaines de les animations sont tellement rapides que même si je, com je commence à le comboter, en fait il arrive quand même à me toucher pendant que je combote. C'est un petit peu problématique en soi. Ouais, vous avez qu'on pouvait pas se barrer. Eh hey, bonjour Ah mais je peux pas aller là-bas. Dommage Je peux pas passer par la fenêtre Non, trop demandé. Dommage. Bon, du coup on doit aller... Bon, on, va, on va retrouver là-bas hein, du coup. Hein. Allez Nous voilà de retour Bon, il est où le fameux docteur là qui a maltraité son patient Il est à l'extérieur, il est à l'intérieur... C'est pas toi par hasard Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. The ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. Et si vous avez besoin d'un meilleur gun, remember, je peux avoir quelque chose pour vous. J'ai des bonnes nouvelles, Milton. Quoi L'épidémie est over J'ai retrouvé votre wallet. Avec tout le money et une certaine photo. Well, oui, yeah, Pippa Hawkins est ma fille. So Donc quoi Est-ce que la différence de skin color qui vous bothers Pas du tout, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. 
What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. cher par contre il vend du craft Allez, hop. par contre bizarrement je n'ai pas trouvé le gars où est-ce qu'il est, qu est madame good evening nurse i'm dr jonathan reed the new surgeon here at the pembroke dr swansea has already told us about you sir i'm nurse gwyneth brannigan welcome to the pembroke hospital did he really it's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here. And we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you require medical assistance, Nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? 
Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Goodbye, nurse. Call me. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No, we must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Your attitude is irresponsible, Doctor. Believe me, I've seen so many medical errors caused by exhaustion during the war. You're right. This is a war, Dr. Reed. And I don't intend to surrender. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's not exactly the best situation in London either. I can't have expected this hospital to be prepared for what was to come. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbetts, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I I don't know what to say, actually. 
I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague. Goodbye, Dr. Tippetts. T'inquiète pas, je te ferai la peau plus tard. Bon, elle est où la nurse, là Nurse Apparemment, j'avais eu des infos sur toi. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Oh là, la caméra peut pas se mettre un peu mieux. Hein. Alors, why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Bon. Du coup, il fallait fabriquer le, le machin. Bonjour. Bonjour. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned, Milton is not the chatty type. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes, Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. C'est chaud quand même parce qu'il faut parler à tout le monde en fait. Il faut vraiment parler à tout le monde si on veut avoir tous les détails pour pouvoir avoir les, toutes les conversations. What Mais en plus il se balade. 
un peu partout Attends, non, c'est le truc derrière toi qui m'intéresse Good evening, Milt. Good evening, ouais. Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Ouais. On peut dire ça. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing here. I escaped from the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital? That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. Goodbye, Milton. Ah, le truc c'est que vu que c'est un jeu dont Node, t'as envie de parler à tous les personnages parce qu'ils ont forcément des trucs à te dire. Mais bon, du coup, il va falloir trouver un petit compromis quand même. Hein. On va pas faire que ça, parler à des gens. Hein. Par contre, je suis curieux de voir si je pourrais pas tuer des gens en douce. Parce que j'ai vu qu'apparemment, je pouvais charmer les gens avec qui je parlais. Est-ce que je pourrais tuer des gens, justement Par contre, comment ça se fait que j'ai un vieux repère personnalisé et comment on fait pour l'effacer Ah, je dois aller dessus en plus. <rire> Alors, faut créer un remède. Que faut le traitement de fatigue. Hmm. C'est une tasse de café en fait. <rire> ouais, et après. Apporter les médicaments dans la chambre du patient. Ouais D'ailleurs, je pourrais faire le plein de mûnes ou pas C'est une blague en venant ici, on peut faire le plein de mûnes, faut même pas se faire chier à les ramasser ou les acheter. C'est hard quand même ça. Bon. Ah, attendez, il y a des trucs là-bas. Ouh, une arme bon, je... Pardon, je dois aller où Je dois descendre ou je dois monter Parce que la flèche m'indique pas réellement que je dois aller là. Bon, allez, je dois descendre. Ouais, je dois descendre. Alors. Que vous faites Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. 
I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to... Read me like a book. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Corbeau l'hôpital, la soif du sang. N'oubliez pas que le sang et citoyen vous apporte énormément d'expérience. Cherchez les citoyens ayant un niveau de charme inférieur ou égal au vôtre et faites le bon choix. Pourquoi je veux pas tous les bouffer De toute façon, je pense pas avoir le niveau requis pour pouvoir commencer à bouffer tout le monde. Donc, on va peut-être éviter, non C'est par là. Logique, c'est ici. Please, Jonathan. Come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time and... Now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Bon. Je dirais que nous sommes investis d'une mission sacrée. D'abord, je vais aller dormir. What Pourquoi ma porte est ouverte Ah, je peux sortir par là maintenant Cool. En dormant un petit peu... Enfin... Augmentons nos compétences plutôt. Oh mon dieu Comment j'ai les yeux rouges Bon, j'ai 1900 à mettre. 
Mais il me faut plus de sang. Il me faut toujours plus de sang. Et plus d'endurance. Pour pouvoir comboter. Hmm. Et... La nuit suivante, le héros s'est réveillé. <rire> yeah Et je suis niveau 8. Wouhou Et hop. Bong. Pas mal. Ah merde. Ça va rien en fait. Faut que j'aille parler au cas. J'ai tellement envie de choper le... Il ah. y a un mec là-bas en mode super loin là. Je vais le bouffer. Si je descends, est-ce que je peux le bouffer Monsieur Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down. And give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Merde, d'accord, je suis niveau 1. Je suis niveau 1 et lui, il est... Thank you. Bon, c'est bon, hop, on s'en fout. Je suis, que, je suis que niveau 1 en, en charme. Hmm. Je regarde pour monter cette compétence plus tard, alors. Bon si on allait voir ce Y. Bandour. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, 
I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, Your Ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Et bah maintenant va falloir parler à tout le monde. <rire> Mais ça sera pour un prochain épisode. Et ben bah dis donc, au début on a eu de l'action et maintenant on a du blabla. Bon, oh, c'est pas trop mal, hein, j'ai envie de dire. Hein. C'est intéressant hein, comme scénario. Hein. Enfin, pour l'instant, en tout cas, maintenant il faudra voir ce que ça donnera vers la fin. Ou même au milieu. Bon, allez, sur ce, je vous laisse. Prenez soin de vous, prenez soin de rock'n'roll. N'oubliez pas d'avoir la. Attitude, comme d'habitude, avec j'ai trouvé pas au cul, vous connaissez la chanson, vous conseillez avec ce quoi, cette dicton, je vous laisse, je vous fais plein de pouces partout et je vous dis à la prochaine pour une nouvelle vidéo. Ciao, ciao, bye, bouti, bouti, et que l'amour du pilbier soit avec vous. Peace!